Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Guess what, folks? It's not a tries video. And today is an episode of Tank Talks Movies. And guess what? I will be talking about the Toxic Avenger. Alright, guys. My first experience with our good buddy Toxie here um, was watching the animated series, The Toxic Crusaders. And... Oh my lord, I did not know they got this stuff from a raunchy, R-rated, gory comedy known as The Toxic Avenger. And the movie starts off with a character named Melvin who just loves his job. <coughs> he, uh, he cleans a gym, but he doesn't get any respect from the people that are, like, working out at the gym. Like, the, they're, they're working out, they're doing their thing, and, like, he gets harassed by a bunch of the ladies, he gets, like, almost beat up by a bunch of the guys, just on a daily basis, because he's kind of a nerdy looking guy, he's kind of really wimpy. And, I'm sorry, I'll <coughs> get back to my thought here in a moment, just let me, <clears throat> get ready, get ready, get ready, alright, now, back to what I was saying, Melvin is just, <coughs> Melvin is just a really geeky character, he gets bullied all the time, the the bullies in this movie are just complete jerks and complete assholes. My God, guys, they are like damn near demonic. Like <clears throat> there's a scene in this movie where they're honestly cruising around and they run over this kid on a bike for no apparent reason. <clears throat> And they try, they kill this kid, they hit the kid with the car. They end up re like realizing he's not 100% dead. So they back over his head. And a great effect of the watermelon it was just perfect for that scene. <coughs> and, oh, let's see here. They, uh, one of the main girl antagonists were <clears throat> harassing, like, Melvin earlier in the movie, but then she, like, they play a terrible, terrible, terrible joke on him, where he thinks they're going to hook up in the ladies' locker room or something, and then he... She makes him put a tutu on, and <clears throat> they see him, and he's making it, they turn the lights, lights all off, they turn it back on, and he's making out with a pig, <coughs> Make, making out with a pig, and then, they're like chasing him down the, up and down stairs, and just berating him and then he finally just jumps out of a window I don't know why this this semi truck filled with toxic waste was sitting next to a fitness gym or your local YMCA or some sort type some exercise maybe in any time fitness but they it fell right in he fell into one of the containers he crawls out, he's crawling out, he's like, looks like he's seizuring on the ground, covered in the, oh, this is like, I think they use like some type of gelatin type stuff, and paint, you know, all of a sudden he's like, things are burning him, <coughs> a cop comes by and tries to console with him, he touches him and his, his hands, the cop's hands start on fire, then 
Toxie just comes, starts running home, just starts running home, and one of the bullies goes, he's faking it, Jilly, or something, whatever the girl's name is, I don't even remember the guy's names, guys, that's why they're so, they don't care for him, oh wait, one of the guys named, the main guy, the main bad guy, kind of the main bad guy, his name's Bruno, he's a dick. Now guys, Toxie gets home, he's in this bathroom just trying to like, he's taking a bath in a tutu and everything, trying to get all the stuff off, and then all of a sudden we have great special effects where his, his skin's starting to bulge out and his head's starting to weird shape and he's starting to bulk a hulk up and stuff like that, like he's turning into an incredible hulk but not really. He's like some of his skin looks like it's falling off and stuff <coughs> and his mom one moment oh, I'm sorry I don't know what the heck's happening it seems to happen a lot lately when I'm on camera uh, I'm just gonna put you here all right now we're back to this his mother is like asking him if he's okay and stuff like that He's like, then all of a sudden, he's like, ah, oh, ah. and then she says one of the funnier, a funny line in the movie, where she goes, oh, my little Melvin's finally hit puberty, and that made me laugh like crazy, because <laughs> who the fuck knows who, well, we know what happened, he's turning into Toxie, but... He could have been dying, he could have been stewing, like, you know, taking a heavy shit. <laughs> but most likely he was, because he fell in toxic waste, he was probably dying. And he finally just comes out, and he doesn't really realize, because I think he blacks out or something. <clears throat> and he doesn't realize that he is transformed into Toxie. Toxie is an intimidating figure. He's about like six foot eight or something or other. <clears throat> Big old muscles. And during the time he just starts saving people. Like, you know, saving people. Like he's first to say he saves a police officer from a guy named Cigar Face. He just constantly smokes cigars. <clears throat> and then he beats up his the guard faces cronies and there is just a scene where he throws a guy into a dumpster and his legs are just dangling out and he uses the guy's nutsack as a freaking like fast bag <clears throat> and then he uses his main weapon what is a mop of all things yes he like dips he finds the mop he dips it into the solution and just slams it in their face and just twists. <clears throat> okay. Then he we meet Toxie tries to go back home. Scares the bejesus out of his mother. <laughs> well once you if you were like a six foot no I'm I don't want to call him a freak. Because I'm not that judgmental about things like that. Because <clears throat> Well, I guess it would be a kind of technically a freak, but not... I don't mean it that way. I can't, I can't think of the word. Okay, guys. Now, Toxie's feeling all upset and sad, so he walks out to a junkyard, like, and makes himself a, a house out of bric-a-brac that's inside the fucking um, junkyard. And he makes it pretty decently. He's as bad as, honestly, a... Just a run-down old mattress. All right, guys. Now back to more of Toxie. Um, getting more bad guys. There's a scene at a taco shop. Um, yes, you heard me right. A taco shop. And this, ta there are just bad people trying to rob it. <clears throat> And not, and this also in this scene, 
we get to meet Toxie's girlfriend. Her name, I think her name's Jillian. I don't know, I think it starts with a G or a J. Sorry. <coughs> and then, she's blind. So she's not, she can't be judgmental because she can't see what Toxie looks like. So Toxie, <coughs> she almost gets, she damn near gets raped in this taco shop. And this guy has a shotgun and like, these guys are like on crack or something. So, the guy with a shotgun shoots a guy and then there's just, <laughs> there's just a cook there that's just a drunk. He sees like Toxie show up, he takes a pull, takes a look, just throws it away. <coughs> Okay, Toxie kills these guys. They, but the thing that makes me feel really bad about, I hate these guys. I hate them. But I'm glad they get their comeuppance. One thing is, what I really don't like, they killed the blind girl's seeing eye dog. I didn't like that. I know it's just a movie, but I didn't care for that scene. And then, yeah. And then, there was a he takes her to where he lives, and she goes, I would like to, to feel your face, Melvin. And she goes, you know, she starts, like, touching his face and saying, you're really handsome, and stuff like that. And she accidentally touches his, uh, you know what. He goes, <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> That was a really funny scene. <clears throat> so he's like saving a bunch of people and stuff like that. Like he saves some kids from getting run over by the douchebag. They get their canuppets. He kills a random midget lady, but she was like a leader of a some type of kill cult or some type of thing. So I thought that was kind of silly. We he just puts her in a uh, some type of thing I right? don't really know. it's like a laundry mat with one of those rotating <coughs> hanger things so he kills her he kills a lot of okay guys he kills a lot of people but the big bad of the movie is the mayor of Tromaville Tromaville is the place where Toxie aka Melvin lives Tromaville is a polluted, well, not too so polluted town, but they're trying to find a place where they can drop the toxic waste. And they just, they finally, they're saying, we need to kill the monster. We need to kill, there's so many funny characters, guys, in this movie, I can't just keep count. I highly recommend you guys picking up the Toxic Avenger. My set is all four movies, but Proto-Met has a collection where it has all four movies plus the animated series, The Toxic Crusader, Crusaders. And I still can't believe Toxic, Cru Toxic Crusaders came from the Toxic Avengers. So, guys, before I go, I'm going to show you a caption of what Toxie looks like <coughs> from the live action movie and from the animated series. So, I'm Tank, signing off, till next time my friends, peace!